Gentlemen, I have an urgent message regarding your wiener. There's plastic. Micro particles of plastic lodged inside of your wang. Your Johnson is a quivering member. Top selling condom and lube brands contain cancer causing PFAS, which are forever chemicals. So when you you uh shack up with with a, a lady, you're sliding on the condoms. You are you're you're pu- you're putting your wiener in jeopardy. Nobody wa- nobody wants that. Nobody wants a cancer wiener. But also, those microplastics, we all know they go right to the balls. Your scrotum is just filled. Filled to the brim with the microplastics. So what what is the uh, the solution? Don't wear condoms. Solution. It's solved. That's actually that's probably not. <laughs> Probably not a solution. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> um, but also, I'm I'm wondering if if your wiener is being affected by these condoms and lube brands. What about the lady garden? What is happening there? I mean, there's got to be forever chemicals in, in, right? You know what I mean. Like, if it's going in the wiener, it's got to be going in the box because it literally goes in the box. So popular brands of condoms and lubricants contain dangerous amounts of toxic PFAS forever chemicals linked to cancer. Research has shown some Trojan condoms and KY jelly lube and gels had high levels of the microscopic particles that are absorbed through the skin and cause untold damage in the body. Do you guys remember when they would have put the little sparkly bullshit in the in the toothpaste? And they're like, no, it's fine. You can just you'll just poop it out. It's fine, whatever. Now we're finding that it's in our balls. Researchers warned that genitals are particularly dangerous organs to expose to PFAS because penis and vagina skin is thin and contains lots of blood vessels. It's probably it's probably true. It's probably true. This increases the risk the chemicals, which are linked to infertility, sperm damage, and pregnancy complications, get into the bloodstream where they can travel to other organs. So, the gist that I'm getting here is no condoms and just use spit. Haktua. <laughs> See? A Haley girl who was onto something. With, with all that hawk tua she's doing, there's probably not a lot of chemicals in her box. It is thought that the chemicals end up in the products to help repel moisture and liquid during sex. Don't we need the moisture? Isn't that a that's a thing I need? I want it moist. I don't want it dry. Like a cat's tongue. Oh my god. The testing was carried out by Momovation, a woman's health advocacy group at a government grade laboratory. Researchers checked for the presence of uh, fluorine, a uh, a sign of PFAS in 29 reproductive health products. It was found 13 parts per million in the Trojan ultra-thin condoms for ultra-sensitivity. More than 10 parts per million more than the 10 parts per million danger level. Believe it or not, I think when my wife and I were dating many, many years ago, I think those might have been the ones that this wiener got wrapped in. Explains a lot, I think. Anyways, fluorine was found at nearly double the level in the the Union Standard Ultra-Thin Lubricated Male Latex Condoms at 25 parts per million. Among the lubes with the highest levels were KY Jelly Classic Water-Based Personal Lubricant what? What? KY Jelly is like the bog standard or gold standard stuff, isn't it? That's what I thought. Good lord. A 13 parts per million and a Lola tingling <laughs> tingling mint pleasure gel for spot on arousal was 39 parts per million. So that was bad. No. No tingling gel mint for you, my friends. 
Overall, the report found that six out of the 29 products tested, 20%, had unsafe amounts of PFAS. It is chemically certain that female reproductive tracts will be contaminated by some of the chemicals in condoms. Yeah, it stands to reason, I think. Teresa Hines, a Green Science Policy Institute researcher, said in the report, because condoms are an exposure to the most sensitive areas on the human body for both men and women, I would strongly recommend the industry identify and remove these chemicals immediately. So PFAS, per and polyfluoral alkyl substances are microscopic substances that take thousands of years to break down in the environment or a human body. Hence their nickname Forever Chemicals because they will be around a long time after you're dead. It will get into your ball sack and then you will die and it will still be in your ball sack. You're literally taking them to the grave with you. Your main purpose is to repel water and oil, which is what makes them non-stick. Oh, which is what makes non-stick cookware easier to clean and why certain jackets and tents can with stand rain you know the funny thing about the climate change people this is a little bit of an adhd diversion here but it's kind of in the same vein as this the climate change people are like oh my god the climate the climate the climate whether or not tornadoes are tornadoing or hurricanes are hurricaning or whether it's hot or whatever that's what they're worried about i kind of think that's kind of silly kind of irrelevant doesn't actually fucking matter you know what does matter literal pollution the literal garbage fills the the during the pandemic there was 10,000 masks per square meter on the ground that stuff matters the garbage patch in the ocean that stuff matters these chemicals leaching into our bodies into the air into the water and everything the pollution the chemical pollution I don't give a shit about a hurricane that may or may not fucking happen. I don't care. But shit in my balls, that bothers me. Like, I mean, if leftists came to me and they're like, hey, listen, we understand you don't really care about, you know, what the what the temperature is going to be like in 50 years because I'll be dead. But what about the chemicals in your children's balls? Well, now you have my attention. Like, if they're like, hey, listen, one of these days, your kids are going to grow up and maybe they're going to meet a pretty girl. And, and, and because you've raised them right, they're going to they're going to wrap their wiener. You don't want your child's wiener to get PFAS chemicals in it. Right. Let's let's do something about pollution. I'd be like, hey, you've made a good point. You've sold me. Anyways, sorry, ADHD. But the chemicals can seep into the water supply from washing dishes and can enter food if packaging is made to be grease resistant or if the nonstick coating on pots and pans begins to deteriorate. PFAS are also common in pesticides used to feed crops, which produces chemical rich runoff that can enter the drinking water supply. You see, this is the stuff that I was just saying. That's the stuff that should be we should be worrying about not whether or not the temperature is going to be hot or cold in 50 years. I don't care about that. I care about this. They have been linked to multiple cancers, asthma, fertility problems, obesity, birth defects, diabetes, and autism. That last part, autism. That obviously means a whole lot to me because I have four autists upstairs running around like absolute animals right now. And so a lot of people will be like, oh, well, it's the vaccines that cause autism. Well, n not all my ch each of my children are at various levels of vaccination from complete to the absolute zero. And the amounts of autism they have don't correspond. So maybe there's some component of it. Maybe it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. I don't know. What I do know is that we are poisoning our water, we're poisoning our air, we're poisoning like our soil, our, our, our food is poison, everything. 
the 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 chemicals in our clothing is poison the chemicals in 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 like our soaps and our detergents is poison uh everything is basically poison and if something like a condom can put the poison into a woman i mean how how much of the poison that 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 a, that a pregnant woman is eating or drinking or breathing in or just having on her body like like the poison from like her blanket or whatever how how much of that is seeping in to the baby causing like a chronic inflammation or whatever allowing aut autism or, or whatever you see what i'm saying like it's this that's the problem the temperature in 50 years i don't care about it i don't care about it anyways that's that's this that's this story here the long and the short Top selling condom and lube brands contain cancer causing PFAS forever chemicals, researchers warn. So don't use condoms and, and, and give it the Ohakua. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.